Okay, guys, new scenario. Lauren this time. Lauren, enter the room. Thank God you're here. Where have you been, bitch? Where have you bloody been? What time is it? Three. What time did I expect you home? Two. I'm so bloody sick of this. How long have we been married for? I don't know, a few years? Can't even remember, four years. Four years? I can't believe the cheek, the cheek of you to do what you've done. You don't even know what you've done, do you? You just come waltzing in at three o'clock in the afternoon. I know what's been going on. People have seen you walking around Chinatown with another man. No, that's, um, that's my psychiatrist. How am I expected to believe that? I've been snooping around your bloody bag. What do I find in your bag? A bloody Chinaman's hat. You've been having an affair with a Chinese man. You shouldn't I'm, have I don't, my I'm gonna bloody divorce you. I'm so bloody sick of this. I'm so bloody sick of it. You just come home and you've got bloody lipstick on your collar from the Chinaman and you just think that I'm gonna stay married to you for freaking years. I've wasted my time with you for years. It's not like you've never had an affair. Well, I'm a man. I can do that. It's not very fair. And we're not having sex very often. Whose fault's that? Yours. Because you're too busy with the Chinaman. Oh. I don't know what you see in him. So short and Chinese. He's a good kisser. Well, what about me then? What's wrong with my kissing? No, you kind of a bit like a dog, like a bit sloppy and stuff. You're a bitch. You're a stupid bitch. I'm just telling the truth. You bloody divorce. Take your stupid bag and take your Chinese man's hat and go and marry him because I'm divorcing you. As of now. It's over. The marriage is over. Well done. That was great, Laura. Well done. That was great. Yeah, excellent. Okay, now you handle that well. Okay.